Hi, welcome to our Pharma Topics channel. Our topic of discussion is related to expectorants, which are used widely in treatment of cough. Let us know first what is cough. So, cough is a protective reflex that clears the irritant matter and secretions from the respiratory tract. Viral infections of the upper respiratory tract is the most important cause of cough and is self-limiting. Other reasons include bacterial infection, allergy, pleural diseases and malignancy. Cough may be induced by drugs such as ACE inhibitors, amiodarone, beta blockers and that can induce cough. Gastrointestinal reflux is also a common cause of cough uh, through reflux mechanism and occasionally as a result of aspiration into lungs. Acid suppressants can provide a relief in that conditions. The cause of cough should be detected before starting the treatment. Since cough is a protective mechanism, undue suppression of it can cause more harm than benefit. Let us see about expectorants. Expectorants are also called mucokinetics which are useful in treatment of productive cough. It facilitates the coughing up of mucus and other materials from the lungs. Expectorants are drugs that are supposed to enhance clearance of the mucus. Mucokinetics increase bronchial secretion, they decrease the viscosity and enhance removal of the phlegm or the sputum by the cough reflex. Classification of expectorants. One is secretion enhancers like potassium citrate, potassium iodide, guaifenesin, tolu balsam, wasaka and ammonium chloride. And next is mucolytics which break up the mucus. They are bromexin, ambroxol, acetylcysteine and carbocysteine. Let us see the mucus secretion enhancers which are used as expectorants. Basically they are obtained from botanical source. Sodium and potassium citrate, uh, it increases uh, the bronchial secretion by salt action. Potassium iodide, it irritates the airway mucosa. Prolonged use may affect the thyroid function and can cause iodism. Guaifenesin, tolu balsam and vasaka are uh, plant products that increases the bronchial secretion and also increases the mucociliary clearance. Ammonium salts, they are nauseating and reflexly increase the bronchial secretions. So, ammonium salts are also called reflex expectorants. Let us see mucolytics which are used as expectorants. Bromoxin, it is a derivative of the alkaloid basicin obtained from Adathoda Vasaka. It is a mucolytic, mucokinetic and induces a copious or large amount of bronchial secretion. It depolymerizes the mucopolysaccharides and the tenacious sputum is broken. It is useful when the mucus plugs are present. Adverse effects are rhinorrhea, lacrimation, gastric irritation and hypersensitivity. Ambroxol, it is a metabolite of bromexin which is having a very similar mucolytic property. Let us see about uh, mucolytics which are used as expectorants. First one is acetylcysteine. It opens the disulfide bonds in the mucoproteins present in the sputum and makes it uh, less viscous. It can be administered orally or by inhalation as a nebulizer. The adverse effects uh, orally administered acetylcysteine uh, can rupture the gastric mucus. So, it is contraindicated in patients with peptic ulcer. Carbocysteine, it uh, liquefies the thick viscous uh, mucus and is administered orally. Adverse effects are similar to acetylcysteine. The next is uh, obtained from uh, yeah, animal source. One is pancreatic dornase. It is a deoxyribonucleoprotein. It is a major component of the purulent respiratory tract secretions. Pancreatic dornase is a deoxyribonuclease obtained from the beef of the pancreas. It breaks the DNA into smaller parts and makes the secretions less viscous. It is administered by inhalation. The adverse effects are it can cause allergic reactions. The next is Everyone knows steam inhalation. It is effective and inexpensive alternate to drugs. Humidifies the sputum as well as the respiratory mucosa. In the presence of a dehydration, just rehydrating the patient is beneficial. The therapeutic uses of expectorants. Uh, patients uh, with uh, thick tenacious uh, respiratory secretions uh, can get beneficial from the expectorants. It is useful in asthmatic bronchitis and cystic fibrosis. Expectorants are useful during uh, tracheostomy. 
let us uh, know few things to note about uh, the expectorants although expectorants were once commonly prescribed there is no objective evidence for their efficacy such drugs are often emetics the gastric irritation caused by them can stimulate an increase in mucus clearance via reflex mechanism so it's a very short nutshell info information of the expectorants i hope it will be useful for you thank you for listening happy learning kindly share this to more of your friends kindly subscribe to our pharma topics series of uh, videos are available in the pharma topics related to respiratory pharmacology kindly go through it thank you